Hello, my friends. I'm Brett Larkin. This is a beginner vinyasa flow focused on our immune system. So we're going to be doing a lot of juicy spiral feel-good movements to stimulate the lymphatic system. So to begin, come to an all fours position. Just stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Close your eyes and just take a deep breath in and out. Notice how you're feeling. Just slow down the breath. Take an intentional pause. And on your next in-breath, broaden across the chest. So send your heart forward and your shoulders back. You can curl the toes under. And on your out-breath, pull your navel towards the ceiling. Make a Halloween cat shape, so really round, round your low back. Tailbone lengthens to the space between your knees. And then flow through these two postures. Collarbones widening, just keep the gaze at the horizon line. And exhale, making that high C curve, lifting the navel towards the sky. Gaze at your belly button. I often end up kind of rocking the body forward and back as I move through this chakra vakasana cat cow, moving the cerebral spinal fluid up and down the spine. The definition of vinyasa yoga, if you're new to yoga, vinyasa can be translated as linking breath and movement. So that's all you're doing here is just tuning into your own body. as you move between these two shapes. Good, on your next in-breath, pause. Send the shoulder heads back. Send the heart forward. Just breathe in and out. And then curl your toes under if they're not already. Keeping the knees deeply bent, send your sitting bones to where the back wall meets the ceiling. So you're coming into your downward facing dog. Resist the urge to straighten the legs just yet. Keep the knees deeply bent and thrust your chest towards your thigh bones. Let your head drop now and see if you can feel a nice long line of energy from your tailbone all the way to the crown of the head. So imagine your tailbone yearning towards a chandelier in the ceiling and you're just finding this lengthen the spine. We'll straighten the legs in a moment. Just keep them bent for right now. Press into the index finger, knuckle and thumb. Fingers are really spread wide and then spin your triceps in towards your heart center. Two more breaths here. And then gently straighten the left leg and then the right alternating, bending one knee and then the other. I'm letting this feel good, enjoying the stretch now in the back of the legs. Slowing down your breath. Walk your feet up towards your hands. So just take small steps. Keep the feet hip width apart and parallel. So look down at your feet. Make sure they're making like the number 11 parallel to one another with the heel behind the widest part of the foot. Clasp opposite elbows and just sway. Draw your chin into your chest. Let the back of the neck be long. Just move the upper body left to right with the knees bent. Stretching the low back. And then lift your gaze to look at me just for this first one so you can see it. I want you to take your right elbow to your right knee. Come up through a big side stretch. It's like you want to press your body back into an imaginary wall behind you. Little back bend as you come up. And then try to stay. Imagine you're between two panes of glass so that the left elbow comes to the left knee as you come back down. So you're making this what I call sundial shape, and you can just flow through this on your own. Notice that my legs are straight when I'm at the top, but then the minute I come into the side bend, deeply bend the knees. And then at the top, when you're ready, just switch directions. You can widen your stance if you want to feel a little more stable. Otherwise, just rolling through these juicy side bends.
Then the next time you're at the bottom, just swing side to side. Let the hands go, chin into chest. We're gonna round up one vertebra at a time. So keep the knees deeply bent, chin into chest. Roll and round up through your low back, mid back, upper back. Head is the last thing to come up. Coming into our sun salutation. So inhale, spread the palms, lift the arms. Micro bend the knees, maybe look up just slightly. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Breathe in, half lift, squeeze your shoulder blades together, send the heart forward, dip the chin. Breathe out, step back to a plank pose. Drop the knees to the ground, shift your weight forward, kind of tuck your tailbone here, and then lower all the way down to the floor with control, modified chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Press your hips and toes into the ground, kneecaps lift, but peel your heart up off the floor. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift the hands for a moment to test your low back strength. Good, and then press back into child's pose, seat to heels, and then rocking forward to come back to your downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Once more, lengthening the inhale. Breathing in and out through the nose, full complete breath out. And then tiptoeing or walking back to the top of the mat, knees can stay bent. Inhale, half lift, so press your hands into your shins. Telescope the spine out of the pelvis. You're making this flat back shape, half lift. And you breathe out, melt into yourself, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Clasp and interlace the hands at the top of the head now. Release the middle finger only up. And we're gonna do some of those circle side bends again. So lean over to the right or left, doesn't matter. And then take the upper body forward to the opposite side and back. So I'm not so much concerned with coming into a back bend. I'm just trying to find some juicy circular movements we have a lot of lymph nodes also in this area of the armpit, which we're tapping into and stimulating by having the arms above the head like this. Good, breathe in at the top and then exhale, fold forward. Same thing we did before, inhale, half lift, hands to shins, heart forward, shoulder blades squeeze, chin into chest. Exhale, step back, plank pose, lower the knees, Shift your weight forward so you're really using your arm and core strength to lower down slowly with control on a breath out. Inhale, baby cobra, kneecaps lift off the ground, legs are strong and engaged as you peel the heart off the mat, squeeze the shoulders and elbows together. Exhale, child's pose, seat to heels, breathe into all fours, and exhale, downward facing dog. Huge breath in, complete breath out. Let the inhale make your torso grow with breath, left and right, up and down, side to side. And as you breathe out, gently walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Interlace the hands again. Release the index finger. Go the opposite way you went before. You can keep a micro bend in the knees. And your in-breath at center, reach up. Exhale, fold and melt forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to your plank. This time drop the knees and just come into child's pose. Take the elbows as wide as the mat, middle fingers to touch. So you're making a diamond shape with the arms and just rock the hips side to side. And gently press yourself up. 
Come to a seated position with the soles of the feet touching so you're in a butterfly shape, diamond shape with the legs. You can sit up or prop yourself up with blankets or a cushion to make this more comfortable for you. And we'll just make some circles here to close our practice. So inhale, taking the torso forward, sweeping your shoulders as far as you can to the right and the left. Feeling into the hips in this gentle way, slowing down your breath. Reverse the circles. Come to center and just hang, fold forward and down. Let the chin dip into the chest. Let the hips be heavy. Sigh out, breathe out the day. Press your hands into the mat. Keeping the head heavy, press yourself up. Head is last thing to come up. Take your hands to the outside of the thighs. Bring your knees together. Scooch forward on your mat if you need to. And just come to lie down in Shavasana. Final resting pose. Very important part of any vinyasa yoga practice. This is the moment where you let the intelligence of the prana what the yogis called our subtle energy our life force the intelligence to just go where it needs to go by completely resting wherever you need healing this prana innately knows how to find those spaces and by taking the time to rest You bring the nervous system into balance. Stay here, lying down for as long as you possibly can. And I'm sending you so much love from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I want to make sure you know about my free chakra challenge. Immerse yourself in this seven day experience at the link you see below. From my heart to yours, namaste.